Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another excursion on a newer TV21 The Station for Relaxation. Today's excursion is about the Little Red Lighthouse at Fort Washington Park, New York. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell as not to miss new videos I upload. Also, like and share the videos to your friends and family. Again, thanks for watching. I am entering the park at Riverdale Drive West and West 158th Street. Here we are looking over the Hudson River to our neighbor state New Jersey. This river runs about 315 miles from north to the Atlantic Ocean. To our right, is the George Washington Bridge, also called the GW Bridge. This is a steel double-deck suspension bridge which has 14 lanes of traffic. There are 8 lanes on the upper and 6 on the lower deck. It is 4,760 feet in length, 119 feet wide, 604 feet high, and the longest span is 3,500 feet.
taking a detour to the dirt path for a better look of the stunning view. Soon I will merge back to the tar surface of the Hudson River Greenway. This path is one of the most popular places for running, cycling, and walking. This 12.4 miles stretches along the Hudson River from Battery Park to the George Washington Bridge.
The Little Red Lighthouse, Fort Washington Park, New York. This script was taken from the documented information affixed to the steel fence protecting the Little Red Lighthouse. The Little Red Lighthouse stopped being used as a functional lighthouse long ago, but over the years this 40-foot high structure has become a beacon of another kind. Located underneath the George Washington Bridge along this treacherous section of the Hudson River once known as Jeffrey's Hook, this is one of the few surviving lighthouses in New York City and serves as a quaint reminder of the area's history. Long ago, Native Americans known locally as the Wetquis Jeek, part of the Lenape tribe inhabited much of Upper Manhattan and Eastern New Jersey. The Wetquis Jeek, and later the Dutch and English colonists, fished and hinted along the banks of the Hudson River. The Hudson was also an important route for travel, connecting upstate cities such as Albany to New York City and the Atlantic Ocean. As the traffic increased along the river, so did the number of shipwrecks at Jeffrey's Hook. In an attempt to reduce accidents, a red pole was placed at Jeffrey's Hook jutting out over the river to warn travelers of danger. In 1889, two 10-candle power lanterns were placed on the pole to aid navigation. Much of the land surrounding the lighthouse, including the riverbanks of Jeffrey's Hook, was acquired by the city in 1896, and became known as Fort Washington Park. In the early 20th century, barge captains carrying goods up and down the Hudson demanded a brighter beacon. The Little Red Lighthouse had been erected on Sandy Hook, New Jersey in 1880, where it used a 1,000-pound fog signal and flashing red light to guide ships through the night. It became obsolete and was dismantled in 1917. In 1921, the U.S. Coast Guard reconstructed this lighthouse on Jeffrey's Hook in an attempt to improve the navigational aids on the Hudson River. Run by a part-time keeper and furnished with a battery-powered lamp and a fog bell, the lighthouse, then known as Jeffrey's Hook Lighthouse, was an important guide to river travelers for 10 years. The George Washington Bridge opened in 1931, and the brighter lights of the bridge again made the lighthouse obsolete. In 1948, the Coast Guard decommissioned the lighthouse, and its lamp was extinguished. The Coast Guard planned to auction off the lighthouse, but an outpouring of the support for the beacon helped save it. The outcry from the public was prompted by the children's book, The Little Red Lighthouse and the Great Grey Bridge, written by Hildegard Swift and Lind Ward in 1942. In the popular book, The Little Red Lighthouse is happy and content until the Great Bridge is built over it. In the end, the lighthouse learns that it still has an important job to do and that there is still a place in the world for an old lighthouse. The classic tale captured the imaginations of children and adults, many of whom wrote letters and sent money to help save the icon from the auction block. On July 23, 1951, the Coast Guard gave the property to New York City Parks, and on May 29, 1979, the Little Red Lighthouse was added to the National Register of Historic Places. It did not receive much attention over the years, until City Controller Harrison J. Golden worked with Parks Commissioner Henry J. Stern to find funding for its restoration. In 1986, New York City Parks hosted a party in honor of the lighthouse's 65th anniversary and to celebrate a renovation of the lighthouse that included reconstruction of the concrete foundation and installation of new steel doors. In 2000, the lighthouse received a fresh coat of red paint that was true to its original, historic color, along with new interior lighting and electric lines. Today, the Little Red Lighthouse remains a stalwart symbol of the area's heritage, lighting the way into the city's past.